Here's the question. Will wild animals be extinct in the future? It sounds crazy, right? But let's take a closer look at it. Now, you've probably already heard of the massive increase in endangered animals just over the past few decades. It seems that we can't watch a documentary about the snow leopard or the African elephant without also hearing about how their natural habitat is in danger or how human intervention in the forms of uh, pollution or in the forms of poachers, in the case of elephants, are actually decimating the population and may lead to the wild populations collapse. And it's true, uh, for some animals, apex predators especially, such as tigers, there are only uh, several thousand left in the wild. And it's quite plausible that by the time a child born today turns 30, these animals could be extinct in the wild. This is, for some people, a matter of statistics. Uh, for instance, we know that the human population is continually growing, and in some cases, we've underestimated the rate of growth. We also know that the population of humanity is expanding into areas that were previously considered wild. Uh, a great example would be the Amazon, where the rates of deforestation are on the order of hundreds of square kilometers uh, annually. And although countries have taken various steps to preserve, protect, or even regrow wild areas, it seems that oftentimes, unfortunately, these efforts at conservation are not as successful as the efforts of resource extraction. And resource extraction in this case would include uh, mining, it would include the lumber industry, it would also include uh, poaching, as we've mentioned before. Although it is true and tragic that quite a few animal species are in danger of becoming extinct in the wild over the next few decades, it's also true that it's not too late to reverse this trend. Indeed, zoos across the world have very successful breeding programs in some cases, not so successful in others. And there are continual efforts to reintroduce animals into the wild, such as condors in the United States. These efforts have met with success in several cases. And there's another piece of good news. Some animals are simply too numerous to be extinct due to human intervention in all but the most extreme cases. And by most extreme, I mean that there are some animals that will survive a worldwide nuclear catastrophe. Are you thinking of cockroaches? You're right. There are a huge amount of insects. We don't even know how many different types of insects actually exist. That's how many there are. It's pretty implausible to think that we could wipe out insects. Additionally, there are quite a few animals that have learned to live with the human species. Now, I'm not just talking about your, your pet dog, your pet cat, or a parakeet in a cage. I'm also talking about things like squirrels and things like rats. Now, rats have been, as many people scared of rats can tell you, with our species for a long time, and they show no signs of disappearing. So where does all this information leave us? Well, we know that there are two extremes and the truth is somewhere in the middle. On one end of the extreme spectrum, we've got the idea that all wild animals will be extinct. On the other extreme, we've got the idea that adaptation will somehow save wild animals that are currently threatened and that human intervention may not even be necessary. Now, of course, both of these ideas are very extreme and I think we can agree somewhat unrealistic. It is highly implausible that all wild animals would be extinct simply due to the number of some species like insects, uh, simply due to the relationships that some animals, such as rats, have already formed living in human environments, human affected environments, rather. Uh, and there's also the troubling possibility, indeed the plausibility, that several species of animals which are already endangered, such as, again, tigers, uh, could very well be extinct in the wild within our lifetimes unless human civilization takes concerted and successful efforts to regrow these natural habitats, protect these animals, and preserve their legacy for generations to come. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts, 
free on iTunes.